Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a full tutorial about how to invest on Gemini. Before we start this video though, I do have to say that I am not a financial advisor and nothing in this video is financial advice. Let's go. So first things first, we just have to sign into Gemini. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. And generally Gemini is going to require some sort of authentication. So I use Authy for that. I don't know if you can use another service, but I use Authy, so I'm gonna go input that right now. All right, so now we're on the Gemini homepage. If you look at this page, you'll see your total balance right here. Then you'll see how much money you can actually trade with. Following that, if you scroll down, you'll see some of the biggest movers, which means these are the cryptocurrencies that have moved the most, meaning their price has changed the most out of all cryptocurrencies listed on Gemini in the last 24 hours. Normally this could mean that some of these have had a good day, some have had a bad day, or they could just be a very volatile currency. After that, you'll have a few educational resources, but we're not gonna go into that. Now let's switch over to the market tab. On the market tab, you can buy and sell cryptocurrency and Gemini lists the currencies from most popular to least popular. So at the top, obviously you have Bitcoin and then you have Ethereum, Gemini dollar. I don't think that one's actually that popular, but it's Gemini's own stable coin. So they list it up there. Keep going down, you have an array of cryptocurrencies. I'm not gonna go over all of these just because it would take too long. But yeah, you have ones from Quant, the Graph, you have a bunch, Polygon. The next section on the website is the earn section. And this is where you can put your cryptocurrency to work and start earning interest on your cryptocurrency. So think of it like a high yield savings account where you get some sort of interest back from your money being in that account. So you could lend out your Ethereum, you could lend out, lend out your GUSD or your Bitcoin and you can receive an annual yield. So if I lent out, let's say $10,000 of Ethereum and I get a 1.76 return on that investment, then that means I'd be making $176 per year completely passively just by lending out my Ethereum, plus whatever my Ethereum makes on top of that. This is a great service that Gemini offers because it allows you to earn interest on your crypto instead of just having the crypto sit there and not earn any interest like it would in a cold storage wallet. And the final tab we have in Gemini is the portfolio tab. So in your portfolio, you'll see an overview of your account. So you can see how your accounts perform throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout three months, and an entire year. One thing that I don't like about Gemini is that when you add new money into your portfolio, it doesn't adjust your portfolio to that, it just adds it as if it were a return. So for example, you can see my portfolio was at $500 before I put some money into it. And then now, as soon as I put some money into it, boom, it shot up 170%. So it looks like I made an 170% gain on my initial investments, but that's absolutely not, not true. I just added a couple thousand dollars into this account. So that's one thing that I don't like about Gemini, but it's not that big of a deal. You can still kind of figure out what your returns are. So if you scroll down on this page, you will see trading balances. So you can see how much USD you have, how much Ethereum, Bitcoin, Shiba, anything you actually have. These are just the ones that I hold, but on your portfolio, whatever you hold will show up right here. And then below that, you can see your earn balances. You can see how much you're earning, how much you've already earned. I'm currently not earning any interest on mine. I probably should be, but if you were, then you'd see that right here. And then down below that, you will see all your transactions. All right, now that you have an overview of each Gemini page, let's look at how to transfer money into your account. So when you're transferring funds in, you have to go to the transfer and then deposit into Gemini. So you'll select your currency, US dollar, that's, I'm in the US, so that's what I'll use, but you know you can use any currency that you want. You can even deposit in Bitcoin or Ethereum from another platform. So I'll just select US dollar, transfer method, and then you can just do ACH transfer, transfer. I would recommend just doing an ACH. You could wire it if it's a lot of money, but honestly, you're probably fine just doing ACH transfers. And then once you've selected that, you just select your payment method and then continue. You can enter the amount and then complete your deposit. Now, if you want to withdraw from Gemini, it's basically the same process. You just select your currency and then you can transfer it to a bank or another brokerage. Let's now look at how to actually buy cryptocurrency. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to buy some Bitcoin. So I click on Bitcoin and then it'll come up with the Bitcoin page. So here you can see a graph of the price. You can look at an hourly graph, a weekly graph, a monthly graph, yearly graph, whatever you want. So if I go to a year, you can see it shows the price of Bitcoin fluctuating over the last year. 
There's a little bit about Bitcoin right below that. So you can look at some stats, market cap, volume, circulating supply, and the all-time high. And if you scroll down, you can see some of your holdings. I actually don't own that much Bitcoin. I only own about $1,000 worth. But yeah, let's go ahead and buy this. Also, if you want to put a cryptocurrency onto your watch list, you just click the watch button and that'll add it to your list so you can keep track of your favorite cryptocurrencies. All right, so to actually buy this, we have to submit a buy order. So we go how often once you can set up a recurring investment. So if you wanted to buy a certain amount of Bitcoin daily, weekly, monthly or um, semi monthly, then you could just select that option. I'm just going to do a one time buy because I don't want to be transferring in every day and then you just select how much USD you want to put in there so for this video I'm just going to buy a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin and you can also select to transfer it and earn interest automatically I'm, not, I'm just gonna leave that blank for now so continue and then I'm gonna use my USD balance so that's the money that's already in my account however you can just transfer directly from your bank so now I have my Bitcoin order Order amount $100, transaction fee $299. Generally, I would be buying more Bitcoin than that because that transaction fee is actually pretty high for $100. That's almost 3%, which is kind of ridiculous. But for the sake of this video, it's all right. All right, so I click continue and boom, Bitcoin has been bought. This process applies to pretty much any kind of cryptocurrency you want. So I could do the exact same thing. It's the exact same process with Ethereum, or Dogecoin, whatever you want. And in order to sell cryptocurrency, you just click on the sell tab right there, and then you actually put in your Bitcoin amount. So how much, I'll just say 0 0.0001, approximately $4, so review order. I'm not actually gonna sell my Bitcoin, but if you wanted to, you just click confirm, and your Bitcoin would be sold. And that applies to any cryptocurrency. One more option you have is to actually switch cryptocurrencies. So if you don't wanna convert your cryptocurrency back to USD just to buy another cryptocurrency, then you can just switch it directly. So I'm in Bitcoin, I'll switch from Bitcoin to let's say Ethereum. So how much? 0 0.002, approximately $100. I could just review order and then boom. So I could click confirm and then that would just be instantly swapped from Bitcoin to Ethereum. You still have to pay taxes on that. It still counts as selling. So don't think that you can avoid taxes this way, but it's a great option if you just don't wanna spend the time, you know, converting your Bitcoin to US dollars and then taking those US dollars to buy Ethereum. It's just a faster way to switch it. Next, I'm going to walk you through the process of earning interest on your crypto. So let's go ahead and select Ethereum and this little window will pop up. You can just say source you can either just do buy new crypto or transfer trading balance i already own some ethereum so i'm just going to do that and then you can select how much ethereum you want to start earning interest on i'll just do 0 0.02 that's about 75 dollars and boom just go ahead and click confirm and you'll start earning interest on your crypto all right that's pretty much it for the gemini tutorial i have an affiliate link below where you can get ten dollars in free bitcoin by signing up using that link. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.